Throughout my career, it went from just reporting what occurred to actually investigating how it happened and, and sometimes why it happened. We try not to rely on just one aspect. We'll talk with people and, and get their version of what happened. Then we examine the physical evidence on the roadway, the yaw marks or the skid marks that were left by one or both of the vehicles. The final component is the electronic data which we can download from vehicles which have airbag control modules. Its job is to deploy that airbag, but a secondary function is it stores data such as speed, percent braking, percent acceleration. So when the electronic data matches the uh, physical evidence on the road surface and then it matches what the witnesses are saying or what the passengers are saying, what the operators are saying, everything fits together. Frequently what we see is a, a pretty high degree of negligence, that people are, are not going just a little bit over the speed limit, it's 15 to 20 to 30 miles an hour over the speed limit. So uh, in those instances where the evidence supports, uh, we bring criminal charges. A lot of people refer to crashes and collisions as accidents, and more and more what we're finding is they're not accidents per se, it's, it's someone's conscious decision to travel so much in excess of the speed limit and these are the results of, of making those, those bad decisions.